In this video, we are going to solve one more gate problem related to frequency response analysis. So, this problem is given for 2 marks in gate 2004. Observe the problem here, the open loop transfer function of a unity feedback control system is given as g of s is equivalent to a s plus 1 by s square, the value of a, the value of a of a so this we need to find out the, the value of this a not uh, that verbal a so the value of a so whatever they given in transfer function that a the value of a to give phase margin of 45 degrees is so here they given transfer function of a unity feedback control system here we need to find out the value of A which gives phase margin 45 degrees. So, we need to find out A which gives phase margin 45 degrees means here we can solve this problem by the basis of phase margin. So, we know the formula to calculate phase margin as phase margin is equivalent to 180 degrees plus phase at gain crossover frequency. This is equation to calculate, this is the formula to calculate phase margin. But what we need, we need phase margin of 45 degrees. So, that is why I am considering 45 degrees here plus 180 plus phi g c. Phi g c means phase, which phase? Phase of the transfer function at gain crossover frequency. So, that means phase of g of j omega at gain crossover frequency wgc at wgc. So, now here I am considering this phase 180 degrees plus. So, here I want to consider in terms of j omega that is why a plus j omega plus 1 by j omega whole square. So, now you can see if you want to consider phase here j omega whole square is whole square is there. As I told you in the last classes, so whenever you are having j omega that will be minus 90 phase. If you are having uh, j omega whole square minus 90 another minus 90 you need to consider totally 180 you need to consider. So, here the phase is uh, minus 180 degrees in the numerator if you see. So, that is plus tan inverse b by a case that means omega by a. So, omega by omega a by 1. So, omega a j coefficient divided by real term. So, omega a divided by 1 at omega g c. So, you just substitute omega g c wherever you see omega. So, now this is equivalent to 180 degrees minus 180 degrees. So, plus tan inverse omega g c a. So, this is equivalent to 45 degrees. So, now you can see 180, 180 will be cancelled. Tan inverse comes to this side, it will become 45 degrees. So, tan 45 you know that is equivalent to 1. So, omega gc into a it will be is equivalent to 1. From given data of phase margin, so here we got omega G, G, gc a is equivalent to 1. We need to find out a value, but here a equivalent to 1 by omega g c that means gain crossover frequency we need to find out, but we do not know the gain crossover frequency. So, here to find out that gain crossover frequency again I am going to the definition of gain crossover frequency. Gain crossover frequency is the frequency at which magnitude of transfer function is equivalent to 1. So, here magnitude of transfer function is g of j omega. So, this is equivalent to modulus of. So, here modulus of g of j omega means a j omega plus 1 divided by j omega whole square. So, this is your magnitude. If you want to write, if you want to write this is equivalent to 1. What you need to do? You need to make this as gain crossover frequency. Why? Because 
if you want to make magnitude as 1 that frequency associated with that is nothing but gain crossover frequency gain crossover frequency is the frequency at which magnitude of transfer function is equivalent to 1 whenever you are writing magnitude of transfer function is equivalent to 1 then you can write omega omega in place of omega we can write omega gc that frequency which gives magnitude is equivalent to 1 is nothing but gain crossover frequency. So, now here modulus means root of a square omega gc square plus 1 divided by. So, here I am having omega gc square is equivalent to 1. So, now here I am having modulus of j omega means modulus of so, here modulus of minus omega square you will get omega gc square is equivalent to 1. So, here you know that omega gc into a is equivalent to 1. So, here you can see omega gc into a is equivalent to 1. So, this is equivalent to root of 1 plus 1. a omega c whole square means 1 square we can consider 1 plus 1 is equivalent to omega gc square. So, now, so omega gc square is equivalent to root 2. Omega gc square is equivalent to root 2. So, omega gc is equivalent to root 2 means 2 power 1 by 2. So, this is equivalent to 2 power 1 by 2. If you send this 2 to this side, then what will happen? So, that is equivalent to 2 power 1 by 4, fourth root of 2. So, now omega gc equivalent to 2 power 1 by 4. So, now you can substitute that here. So, a is equivalent to 1 by omega gc means 2 power 1 by 4. So, here this is equivalent to 1 by 2 power 1 by 4. So, this is equivalent to nearly you are getting 0 0.841. So, this is equivalent to 0 0.841 you are going to get here. So, like this way you need to solve problems like this. What I done? Phase margin, we need to find out A related to phase margin 45 degrees. So, that is why according to given data I consider the phase margin I got something here. But again gain crossover frequency came to picture. Again, I consider gain uh, crossover frequency condition. Then I got that gain crossover frequency. I substituted that gain crossover frequency here. I got A. A is equivalent to 0.841 here. So, option C will be the right option for this problem.